They're called vertical farms, an agricultural trend which moves the whole operation indoors. Dean Reynolds shows us a part of the growing industry that's growing. Do not be confused by the drab facade of the warehouse in this northwest Indiana industrial park. It's a farm, and it could well be the future. You'll find arugula and parsley, basil, kale, and other greens that grace our plates. We grow nine varieties of lettuces. So you're Mr. Salad. <laughs> I'll take that. I can be called worse. Here's some cilantro. He's actually called Robert Colangelo, the founder of GreenSense Farms, and this is how he does it. The light-emitting diode, or LED. It gives you a very concentrated amount of light. It burns much cooler, and it's much more energy efficient. No sun, no problem. Researchers believe plants respond best to the blue and red colors of the spectrum, so the densely packed plants are bathed in a pink and purple haze, moistened by recycled water, bolstered by nutrients, and anchored in a special mix of ground Sri Lankan coconut husks. So you can grow plants inside. So what? Well, we take weather out of the equation. We can grow year-round and we can harvest year-round. That means that the snowbound Midwest consumer doesn't always have to look to California for lettuce in the winter or any other time. They can get Colangelo's produce at the local grocery at a consistent price. This Thai basil is amazing. Scott Hinkle, a local it's chef, says every, the sunless harvest time, yeah, tastes great. Watercress or micro arugula or kale, uh, our blossom salad that we do every week. With less water and fertilizer, fewer workers and no gasoline, it's more economical to grow greens this way than on the traditional farm. No bugs here, so no pesticides. No weeds, so no herbicides. And Colangelo really knows his plants. Do you think plants have feelings? <laughs> we do play them classical music just in case they do. Do you? <laughs> yes, we do. Is there a composer that they prefer? <laughs> they haven't told us yet. <laughs> <laughs> if it's Metallica, I don't want to eat it. And as to whether he's cheating nature. We're making nature better. So let the music play. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Portage, Indiana.